Hello everyone, today I will show you how easily you can set up access control in DSS. I have this access controller ASC3202B with me, with two older card readers. You can connect these card readers via RS485 protocol or Vigant protocol. I have also exit button, one RFID keychain and one RFID card. First of all, we will go to config, device and add this device to DSS. We have this device here in auto discover. We fill out the password, click OK and we have successfully added this device to DSS. Now we can go to access control configuration and we need to set up door groups. We will add first door group, we will name it door group 1 and we add one door to this group. We set up another door group, door group 2 and we can also set up time template here and holiday plan and some remarks for example test. To the second door group we add both of these doors, click on add and now we can move to access permission group. We set up group name, access group 1, we choose door group, so door group 1 and we can also set what roles are allowed to access. Now we have only super administrator and administrator, so these two roles can access this group. Now we can add another group, access group 2 and we will add two door groups to this group. We can also choose another group or just one group, click OK and now we have zero person in both of these groups so we go to person and vehicle info. We can set also a group here for example employees, click save and add person and our first person will be named David and we can upload his picture here and after we upload it here we can go to identification info we can also fill out other info here we can set password for multi-factor authentication but we will choose only card here we can set card issuer connected via USB to your PC or device we'll choose from door 1, reader 1 and now we click on plus and we can take this card and scan it on this card reader and we have this card number field in DSS we can also add fingerprint also with fingerprint scanner connected via USB to PC or device in this case reader from door 1 we click on add, add fingerprint now the reader blinks green and I can scan my finger three times to add it to DSS it is successfully added now I will set access control perm permission access type you can choose for example visitor and set limited card swiping or petrol blog list extended time for longer opening of door we'll choose general general and access group 1 we click add and continue and add another person John with keychain you see you have already saved this configuration of card reader manager so you only click on plus and scan the keychain confirm it set access control permission for example access group 2 and click on OK now in employees we have these two people we can go to home application part access management and as you can see we have this door 1 and door 2 here we can open them from platform and when we scan the keychain we see that this person 
scanned and had valid swipe. This other person also scanned. You can see the photo that we added there, some info about the person. Also, when we click on operation, we can see in which group this person is. And when the person has not permission, you can see that no permission is here. And we can also see video if we bind it with this channel. I will show you how to do it. You go to configuration, device, device config, select the door and choose channel binding. We will bind, for example, these two cameras for this door. And for second door, we'll choose these two cameras. Now, when we go to access management, we can open this video from here and see live view, switch between cameras. We can also drag door two here, switch between these two cameras. And also when you have swiping in operation, you see the live view. If you set up recording, you see recording, also snapshot. It is the same when you have not valid, valid swipe. You can also filter these events only for exception, normal or alarms. Also, you can clear this list and you can also close or all videos, switch to this view, set up global con control. It is good when you have some situation in your building. For example, when you have case of fire or some other emergency, you can set all doors to be open so people can escape. They no, don't need to scan their cards. You can restore this configuration and for example, set all doors to be closed. So when you have a situation where you want all your people to be inside of the building, they cannot go outside. It shows that they have closed the door and they cannot go outside. You can also see access control records and see, for example, only these filtered records, for example, valid swipe on these devices in this time range. Click on search and see only valid swipes. Or you can choose all events and see everything that happened with your access control. So this is everything for this short tutorial. I will also show just that exit button also works. If you have your door open, you see when you have your doors globally closed, it won't let you open, but Otherwise, it will open the door. You can also see the situation on the video and it is easy to use. So you see that it wasn't something hard. It is really quick, really easy to connect and configure. So this was everything for this tutorial and uh, see you in next video.